everyone, this is the Adebi Luka Mojvang, GCSK FRSB, Vice Prime Minister, Minister of Education, Tertiary Education Science and Technology. Mr. Mitu, Secretary for Home Affairs, Prime Minister's Office, and Chairperson of the NDS Board. Mr. Samlao, Acting Senior Chief Executive, Ministry of Education, Tertiary Education, Science and Technology. Mrs. Hazel Carmichael, Head of Ministry of Portfolios, Qualifications Development, Cambridge Assessment International Education, Directors of Parastatal Bodies, Directors and Officers of the Ministry, Guests from Cambridge Assessment International Education, Board Members and Staff of the NES, Rectors, Distinguished Guests, Dear Parents, Dear Students, Good Morning to you. As every year, I feel both privileged and honored to welcome you to the Cambridge Outstanding Learner Award. This event has a long history at the MES, starting out in 2007, when it was known as the Top in the World Awards. Then for a few years, it was known as the Brilliance in Mauritius Awards, before we finally settled on its current name, the Cambridge Outstanding Learner Award. We have a long tradition at the MES of celebrating and regarding the achievement of our students and the Cambridge Outstanding Learner Award is recognition of the dedication, academic ability and hard work of students and the wider school community in Mauritius. I would therefore like to start this 15th edition of the Learner Award by extending my warmest congratulations to all our prize winners. You have excelled and made yourself and everyone around you proud. My congratulations also go to all rectors, parents, and school communities that made this success possible. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a resounding round of applause to all these candidates who make Mauritius so proud. Head of Ministry for Values and Qualifications Development, 
and we can assure that the Parishes is grateful for the collaboration they enjoy with Cambridge. Dear guests, I would also like to seize the opportunity offered to me by today's ceremony to put on record the gratitude of the MES to the Honorable Mrs. Lila Dick of International, Vice Prime Minister and Minister of Education, Tertiary Education Science and Technology. We are very conscious that without the drive of the Honorable Vice Prime Minister and the collaboration and support of the officers of the of her ministry, that the task of the MES would have been much harder. I also thank Mr. Mitu, Chairman of the MES Board, as well as all our board members for their constant and unflinching support. I would like to end by addressing our prize winners. On events like today, I am reminded of the well-known African problem. It takes a village to raise a child. You have worked very hard to be here today, but your success is also the success of the support system you have around you. Your family, your rectors, your educators, your friends. They created the right kind of environment for you to develop and flourish, and they deserve a lot of praise as well for this very special year. All that is left for me to say is a heartfelt congratulations to all of the prize winners once again, and we wish you continued success with everything you have Thank you. Thank you, Director. I now have the pleasure of inviting Mrs. Hazel Carmichael, Head of Ministry Portfolio and Qualification for Development from Cambridge Assessment International Education, the High Presidency. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It's so great to be here and to share this special moment with you. Good afternoon. Good, good morning, too, to honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, and most of all, students. I'm so delighted to be here today in Mauritius to share this special moment with you all to celebrate the winners of the 2022 Outstanding Cambridge Learner Awards. My name is Hazel Carmichael, and I'm honoured and humbled to be representing Cambridge International at this celebration. This is my second visit to your beautiful country, but it's my first time attending as a VIP guest. I feel very fortunate but it's such a happy occasion. We are here to celebrate the outstanding achievements of 113 students from 40 schools across Mauritius. Today is that very special moment for you, the outstanding Cambridge Award winners. And you are all VIPs. It's also a special moment for those close to you, friends and families, your teachers and your schools, as they watch you receive these well-deserved awards too. This is a special moment for us at Cambridge International too, because everything that we do, from writing the syllabuses and creating the example papers, to setting and marking the exams lead up to this special moment. This, we believe, is about supporting you, the dynamic next generation of globally minded citizens, to take the next step in your lives. Some of you might decide to continue your studies here in Mauritius and others might go on to study at universities abroad. At Cambridge International, we hope that the courses you have chosen to follow and the exams that you have taken to access education and employers all around the world will equip you for life. 
Indeed, Cambridge IGCSE's O-levels, AS and A-levels, are recognised by the best universities in the world. In today's fast-paced and rapidly changing world, it's important that the results you have worked so hard to achieve represent more than just an academic qualification. That is why at Cambridge we have designed and updated our programmes to offer you some of the 21st skills for, the, for your future. Regardless of how the world changes, the most important factor for a successful career remains the same as it always has done. But it is really important that you find something you really enjoy doing and you do it well. So as you take the next chapter of your lives, please do, this, do take this moment to recognise your incredible achievements. During the past few years, you've all had to try and improvise and adapt to new ways of learning, using whatever resources were available to you. And you will have stories about these, about happiness, resilience, success, and maybe even lessons of where things did not quite go to plan. Your efforts and achievements are truly extraordinary. A big thank you to those close to you, to your teachers and family members, for all the support that they have given you. The enthusiastic dedication of teachers and the encouragement of family makes it truly possible for learners to reach their full potential. I'd like to take this moment to thank our colleagues at the Mauritius Examination Syndicate for their continued hard work and commitment to making this happen. And also to thank the Ministry of Education, Tertiary Education, Scientific and Technology for their continued support and co collaboration in offering a truly balanced and well-rounded curriculum with Cambridge International. Congratulations once again to all the winners of the Outstanding Cambridge Learner Awards and all the very best for the future. Merci. Thank you, Mrs. Carmichael. I now have the pleasure of inviting Mr. Ravi Mitu, Chairperson of the NBS and Secretary for Home Affairs at the Prime Minister's Office for his address. Please. Honourable Mr. Zizadini Dukan Lachman, Vice Prime Minister, Minister of Education, Tertiary Education, Science and Technology. This is Hazel Michael, representative of Cambridge Assessment International Education and member of the team from Cambridge. Mr. Saula, Acting Senior Chief Executive, Ministry of Education, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, Director of yes, Board Members, Chief Technical Officer, Director of Pastoral Body, Director of the Ministry of Education, Advisors, Heads of the Schools, Parents, Students, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning. It is with much pride and happiness that we are all gathered here to celebrate a momentous occasion, the Cambridge Outstanding Learners Award Ceremony. This is a very special day for all of us as we get to celebrate and recognize the remarkable achievement of our learners who have excelled in the 2022 Cambridge School Certificate and Higher School Certificate exams. This event has now become a yearly one hosted by ZMES in collaboration with Cambridge and with the education community looks forward to. It is delightful for me to hear that this year 24 students have been ranked top in the world. This is indeed an outstanding performance for the 2022 cohort. 
you students who are here today to receive your prizes today deserve to be applauded for these results. Since many of you have been able to score the highest marks worldwide in your respective subjects as already highlighted earlier. I would see this opportunity to congratulate you, your teachers, your parents wholeheartedly. Your educators and parents have played an instrumental and prominent role in nurturing and supporting the incredible achievers that you are. Their unwavering guidance and encouragement must have surely contributed significantly to your success. Mauritius is known for its economic development, cultural heritage, beautiful landscape, but also for its unwavering commitment to the cause of education. As we acknowledge these outstanding learners, let's also take a moment to reflect on the power of education. Education indeed has the potential to transform lives, empower communities, and drive positive change on a national and global scale. Sustaining free education, and it is a reality today, has further democratized education, propelling the learners to take maximum advantage of this unique opportunity. To your young achievers today, I say that your accomplishments are not only certificates and accolades, but stepping stones toward a world full of endless opportunities. You have proven that with your hard work and dedication, nothing is beyond your reach. As you move forward, remember that the pursuit of excellence is a lifelong journey. Embrace challenges, cherish every experience, and continue to push the boundaries of your potential. Ladies and gentlemen, on this special day of celebration, I would like to take a moment to express our gratitude to Cambridge Assessment International Education for their continued support and presence in the Mauritian education landscape. This partnership has indeed extended for more than a century now. The presence of Mrs. Hazel Kormaiken Head of Ministry Portfolio and Qualification Development today attest to this special relationship. As chairperson of the MES, I can rely on your continued support. Cambridge International has been by your side at the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic with all the changes and adjustments that have to be brought to the OAS and A level examination. We have gone out of the way to ensure that our students are able to take the exam with a minimum disruptions would like to reiterate our heartfelt gratitude. Cambridge International has also been on our side in the development of new services according to the world requirements. It's good to know that our educators are regularly empowered through continuous professional development and training sessions provided by the Cambridge trainers. Besides, by having access to the Cambridge School Hub website, our educators not only avail themselves of resources to enrich their teaching but also communicate with teaching professionals worldwide on syllabus delivery and content. Cambridge examinations are renowned for their rigorous standards and depths of knowledge and demand. To excel in this examination is therefore a testament to the intellectual capacities of our learners receiving the award today. To the awardees today, I would like to say that your achievements serve as an inspiration to your peers and a source of pride to your families and educators. To conclude, I would say, let us celebrate the achievement of these outstanding Cambridge learners and the positive contribution they would make to the Mauritian society. They well deserve the recognition of the state for their success. Congratulations once again to all our leaders and to their proud families and schools. Thank you. Mr. Vitok, Secretary for Home Affairs and Chairperson of the MES Board, Board Members. Mr. Sam Lam, Senior Chief Executive of the Ministry of Education, Tertiary Education, Science and Technology. 
This is John Lucas, Colonel Secretary of my Ministry. This is the Chief Technical Officer of the Ministry of Education, Mr. Ogba. This is Tanaka Disabra, Director of the Mauritius Examination Certificate. This is Hazel Kamaika, Head of Ministry Portfolio, Qualifications Development, CAIE, Cambridge Assessment International Education. Directors, officials of the ministry and parasitic bodies, rectors, parents, dear students, good morning to you. It is really a immense pleasure for me to stand here today to be part of this special day when we are honoring you, our exceptional students who have achieved excellence in the Cambridge Higher in the Cambridge School Certificate and High School Certificate examinations. Celebrations are obviously in order as well and for the tremendous contribution your parents to educators and lecturers have put in for you to have reached the pinnacle of success. And obviously to you too. You wouldn't have earned these accolades had it not been for the sheer hard work and unwavering perseverance that you have personally put in during your educational journey. Indeed, it is only fair and proper to recognize that your achievements go beyond just good grades. They represent the culmination of countless hours of study and unswerving focus as you hurdle over obstacles, overcoming challenges in your pursuit of new knowledge and novel techniques. So as a token of our recognition of you all as a top performers in various subjects, let me extend my congratulations to one and all, including those who have directly and even indirectly played a significant role in enabling you to carry the day. So congratulations to all of you. You make us all very proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, today's event carries a lot of messages, but I will highlight and comment on just a few of these. In the first place, it only goes to prove that the heavy investment we are making in education is worth its weight in gold. As you all most probably know, the government annually allocates a huge budget for education. And since we view it as both a public good and a basic human right. For this year alone, the amount allocated is almost 20 billion rupees. This is because our government has always held fast to the conviction that education has the potential to and does transform society. In fact, education always takes center stage in all national discussions of social and economic change or transformation. Indeed, in a rapidly evolving society like ours, education holds a key to bringing into the fore the next generation of leaders, innovators, change makers, young people like you who would prove to be forward thinking and innovative in promoting new development perspectives. Our education system is perceived by some people as being highly competitive and these people think that it might also be demotivating. But it is however legitimate to think that today's celebration is a sign of clean and sound competition that exists in our system. Let us ask ourselves what these awards demonstrate today. What do they really say? They in fact are revealing that our education system is one that can hold its own against others, even on the international scene. That's the statement that should be loud and clear. Ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing wrong in competition, in sound competition, 
as long as we keep the real end game in view. And the real end game that we should be working towards is a benchmarking of our education system. A benchmarking undertaken not exclusively through the setting of national standards. Rather, we have to benchmark our performance against prevailing international norms, against countries which are recognized for their high performing educational systems, countries like Singapore, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, to name just a few. Well, kudos to you, awardees, who have proved your calibre, both nationally and internationally. Dear awardees, I recognise that you have proved yourselves and your capacity to face and overcome the odds. But the battle is not yet over. There are other qualities, other competencies that will be expected of you as you mature into young adults and beyond. Obviously, I'm speaking here of your ability to work and live with and through others. What a qualified, what a quali what is qualified as self skills or deep learning skills are proving to be fundamental as society grows increasingly complex. I'm reminded here of what Jacques Delors once defined as, and which we came up again during the Transforming Education Summit at the UN in September last. And I quote, learning to learn, learning to do, learning to be, and learning to live together. In an era of lifelong learning, you will have to sustain your ability for reskilling, upskilling yourself. But especially as citizens of the world, you will be judged by your capacity to live in harmony with your fellow beings and thus construct a better world. And that will be the final verdict on your achievement. The exact results secured by you fittingly justify the reform agenda which aimed at quanti quantitatively consolidating and strengthening our education system. Obviously, our duty is to encourage, foster, and lay the groundwork for a culture of effort and hard work. All that it takes from you is that you empower yourself through greater self-discipline and enhanced confidence in your potential to improve. This is why in our system lately we have made so much of emphasis on hard work. We came up with a policy of five credits, it's just to ensure that each one of you, each one of the young learners we have, put in the efforts required to achieve. Today, through the distinction you have achieved, you are in fact giving a last, you are have, you have in fact showing to the world that efforts, hard work, payments. Dear students, dear audience, I'm going now to the last message I have for you. It's a very simple one. Just before I end, allow me to remind you of a major social responsibility that should be yours. Excellence is not just about being the best, but also about inspiring others to follow in your steps, to reach for the stars and to believe in the power of education to transform lives. You cannot make up your success is solitary achievement. It needs to be shared, to be spread, and not spread too thin. The privileges of education do come with responsibilities. I would want you to be the champions of effort, of hard work in your respective institutions. Encourage others to see that your hard work pays. And I think that here the words of Gustave Flaubert are extremely 
benefit. He wrote and I quote, if one always looked at the skies, one would end up with wings. So the sky the limit, always aim high and be sure to develop the wings that will carry you to your targets, to your goals, and I believe we all have the potential of doing so and of inspiring others to do the same. As for those of you who have completed your A-levels, remember that your educational institution has been your alma mater, and as an alma of saying, it behoves you to link up with it whenever the opportunity presents itself. Do create platforms for peer-to-peer -peer interactions and motivate others in reaching new peaks of success. Don't forget, we're living in the era of technology. Make use of technology and make use of technology efficiently and efficaciously. Dear guests, we are greatly honored by the presence of the Cambridge representative today. This is Carmichael from the Cambridge Assessment International. The partnership with Cambridge to offer an education that provides modern and prestigious qualifications to our students has a span of more than one century, as stated earlier by the director. During the years, Cambridge has been in the forefront to encourage best practice in the fields of assessment and evaluation. In order to meet the challenges of the 21st century in a world which is changing rapidly, assessment has had to evolve to encourage critical thinking and problem solving. In order to achieve high marks, candidates not only have to demonstrate in-depth subject knowledge and understanding, but also the ability to use knowledge in innovative ways and be ready to meet future challenges. The students we are claiming today have qualifications that are recognized by schools, universities, and employers around the world as a proof of their academic achievement. I wish to point out that Cambridge has supported us for the development of new syllabuses and is still providing continuous professional development for our educators. And ladies and gentlemen, we believe that this collaboration will last even further. Let me now conclude in this note. Once again, my heartfelt congratulations go to each and every award recipient. Your achievements are a source of pride, not only for yourselves, but for our entire nation. You are the future, the hope, and the promise of Mauritius. And I have no doubt that you will rise to the occasion and make us all proud. May your academy journey continue to be filled with success, inspiration, and a constant yearning for excellence. I thank you all for your attention. Well, we'll start with the prize giving uh, ceremony. We'll start by offering a prize to the uh, Honourable Vice Prime Minister, I have the pleasure of the stage, Dr. Fokira Baidani, Principal Research and Development Officer from the MES, for a bouquet, please. ceremony to the students, the awardees of today. We will start with the High Achievement Awards at good level. I have the pleasure to call on stage uh, Dr. Hassan, Deputy Director, uh, for the honours, please, and the Director of yes.
first in Marathi. Vaishnavi Vedita Bhakti from Dr. Mokhs Middle State Hall. First in Modern Standard Chinese, they are taking you from Royal College of Office. First in Sanskrit, Ramalati Dhanu, Pramit Dhanu. First in Statistics, Aditi Angatha from Queen Elizabeth College. We move on to the Higher Achievement Awards at AS level. First in Arabic, Aliya Hana Asiya Kadel from Doha Secondary School. First in Art and Design, Leonardo Warren Baptiste Mutu from Collège du Saint Esprit. First in Chemistry, English and Physics, Rashika Mitten from Lighthouse Secondary School. First in Chinese Language, Si Ji Ken from Eben State Secondary School Girls. First in Divinity, Rebecca Andrew Chabad from Loretto College Rosé. First in Economics, Raina Hogu Bossing from Loretto College Rosé. Environmental Management, Sabine Kidabe from Lighthouse Secondary School. First in French, Joshua Lem Ingwa from Lighthouse Secondary School. First in Further Mathematics, Charles Henri Peter Pies from North Wales International High School. First in Geography, Angela Gerberen, and G.I. Moka. First in Global Perspectives, Kimi Augusta from St. Mary's West College. First in Hindi Literature, Lakshan Abharat from Gaitarena State College. Also first in Hindi Literature, Raksha Jagdaro from Dr. Morisure State College. First in Islamic Studies, Rauda Siddiq Basawan from uh, A.H. Ulam Mohammed Staff SSS. First in Marathi, Shesh Nabai Led Sabat from Dr. Maurice University. First in Marine Science, Rodi Piyari from Imperial College. First in Spanish, Marie Megan, Sarah Jean Hazley from the Reto College Catholic. First in Tamil, Sanjali Mardé from France Royale de la Givaudet State Secondary School.
Universe in Telugu, Alpha Nakrishnan from Queen Elizabeth College. First in Urdu, two, Arikpa, True True from Trauma Drug Company State Secondary School. First in Chinese, Tian Tian Lei from GMB Accra State College. First in design and textiles, Bibi Fatima Mushira Medina from Sadnak State Secondary School. First in Marathi, Yavna Dildu from Forest Science State Secondary School Girls. First in Tamil, Tainam Balsunan from Dhupna Campus State College. First in Telugu, Ishi Natanya from Dhupna Campus State College. And first in Urdu, Bibi Malika and Yachukori from the Kakampo State College. We now move on to the top in Marshall's awards. We'll start with the top in Marshall's awards at full level. First in Arabic, Bibi Shabdi's man, private candidate. Entrepreneurs at the level in art and design, Tanya Kedi Chen Chenyan from Event State Secondary School Girls. First in English language, Perigita Tonka from Queen Elizabeth Hall. First in Enterprise, Maria Shikri Nazura Pietam from Shoma Jokhambi State Secondary School. First in fashion and textiles, Didi Venia Akavali from Katarina State College. First in French, Angel David and Gia Yuta.
Also first in French, Lisa Grace Linking Trump from NPR Newcastle. First in French literature, Nivina Pushita Babaji from Kenneth Abbasco. First in German, Sarah Spanish and Hans Sami from the Rector College of Wilson. Also first in German, Victoria and Merti Papa from the Rector College of Wilson. First in Hindi, the Washington Manoa from Queen's Abbey College. First in Hinduism, Dipshika, Hikari, Lady Sushil and Golam State Secondary School. First in Hinduism, Lakshana Gandhiasa, Sudan State Secondary School. Also first in Hinduism, Lakshman and Lakshman, Belair State Secondary School. First in Hinduism as well, Priya Tarshini, Badulak, Sutna State Secondary School. First in Hinduism, Rishita Grachakrasna from Dr. Morris Kure State College. First in Hinduism, Sandy Bhanjan, Sudna State Secondary School. First in Hinduism, Sahir Kritish Pashkama from Sir Abdul Rahman Usman State College. Stage, Mr. Ravi Mitu, Chairperson of the MES and Secretary for Home Affairs of the Prime Minister's Office. We continue with the top emotions award at O level. First in the literature check in this, a contra handle from Hindu Girls Club. Also first in literature in Hindi, Irisha Yudangan from MGI in Bhutan. First in Marine Science, David Hansen Lechmane from St. Nicolas Drum School in St. Louis. First in Mathematics, Syllabus D, Divya de Rudas, with Math Humble State College. First in Physical Education, Marie-Fulia Maïva Henry, with Math Humble State College. First in Sociology, Rishni Dev Simon, Dr. Maurice Mure State College. First in Spanish, Marie Gwendolyn Betty, the Water College Minor. First in Tamil, Paul Bush is Subhayan from Kukatanki State College. 
in computer science, to reach the good adult from the very similar state college. First is the English general paper, a future study finding from Royal College Colleges. First in French, Andre Lomas from Royal College Colleges. First in Hindi, he reached the Sukhavan from Kupatanto State College. First in Hinduism, Pariti Sitaham from Queen Elizabeth College. First in literature and English, Ramini Mirabula from Queen Elizabeth College. First in mathematics, Rishi Kamitan from Lighthouse Secondary School. First in physical education, Ryan Grady Lavin from Collegiate Services. And first in sociology, Hartman of Simbals from the film of the State. First in accounting, Isha Shaykhnor from James Bertie David SSS. First in art and design, Shun Gershan Frame Prayak from World College Portals. First in biology, Tahani Kiyabokas from Queen Elizabeth College. First in business, and Peter Sindhubin from Mahatma Gandhi Secondary School, Luka. Also first in business, Theo Ethan Leeing from Royal College Portals.
first in computer science, Ashutosh Pandey from Royal College Politics. Also first in computer science, Mohammed Faisal Jamaiya from the Royal College Politics. in food studies and he attended from the last secondary school. First in French, Marie Tonya Susan Gardier from NGI Luca. Also first in French, Pichard Tico Van Gadden from Royal College Office. First in Hindi, Jashri Jawai from NPSS Club. First in Hinduism, Nishka Adidas from Pontevu State Secondary School. First in Islamic studies, Lukna of Gulami from Dua Secondary School. First in Islamic studies, Wadiya Mahobat from Pai State Secondary School. First in Islamic studies as well, Yushra Minunya from Dua Sengi Nisra. First in literature and English, Vince Aguda from Royal College of Islam. First in physics, Said and Yemiya from Royal College of Physics. <laughs> First in sociology, Pariti Sitama from Queen Elizabeth College. Thank you, Mr. Michael. We now move on to the top in the world awards. I have the honor of this award to hold on stage the Honorable Vice Prime Minister, Mrs. Nila Didi Dukan Let's start with the top in the world awards at O level. Top in the world at O level in accounting, Devon Shkumar Peroni from Royal College Group. Top in the world in additional mathematics, Danish and Nick from NBI Luca. <laughs> Top in the world in agriculture, Laval Jimmy Billy player from Rodrigues College. <laughs> Top in the world in biology. Machine for the purpose from World College Politics. <laughs> Top in the world in biology and physics, Joshua Yao Senha from World College Politics. in the world in business studies, Bibi Arzina Fauzi from the term of the school of state college. <laughs> so 
in the world of level in chemistry and in physics, and the evening one from the Royal College. Top in the world in economics, Nidina Bhushita Babaji from Queen Elizabeth College. Top in the world in geography, Gavin Gurner from MBI College. In the world in Islamic studies, a refinement of the city from the other school. Up in the world in literature and English, Joshua David Kenya from Royal College of in the world in religious studies, Bible knowledge, the active sword from Morning Star School. Top in the world in travel and tourism, Nena Vigna from the Smart Pampo State College. We now move on to the top in the world awards AS level, top in the world in accounting. Duny Lippincam from Royal College Cooper. <laughs> Top in the world in business, Santo Ficaldi Saw from Queen's Abbas College. If I can miss a candidate, I will go for this. First in travel and tourism, Lena Jigna from the Tampato State College. Just making sure I'm not getting lost in my names. So, top in the world at ES level, travel and tourism, we have the event from Eden College of Development. <laughs> now we we'll move on to the top in the world at E level, top in the world in chemistry, Sandra Naviari from Queen Elizabeth College. Top in the world in design and technology, Mohammed Jadako from Royal College Group. <laughs> Top in the world in economics, TV star Sukawan from the Papa State College. Top in the world in mathematics as well, Irish D. 
moyens doivent de la croissance. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of today's session. Thank you for your patience with us. Before closing the ceremony, we would like to extend our thanks to all our guests today, in particular to the Vice Prime Minister, to the Chairperson of the NES Board, to the Acting Senior Chief Executive from the Ministry, to our guests from Cambridge Assessment, in particular to Mrs. Cesar Carmichael, for taking time out of the busy schedules to be with us. We also thank all parents and rectors who made it a point to be here with us this morning. Last but not least, I wish to thank the organizing committee of the MES, who was responsible for this event, and all the staff of the Cambridge Examination section, the printing section, and the director's office who made this event possible. And of course, thank you to all the brilliant students who give us the opportunity to organize such events every year. Thank you, everyone. A couple of announcements before I let you go. Please stay seated for the next five minutes. Everybody else can move upstairs. Thank you. you. The first two rows can move. Parents, I, I could tell you a story to keep you entertained for the next 30 seconds, but just wait a bit. There's also an announcement to be made on behalf of the photographer, anyway. For those who want to have their picture taken, uh, there's the gentleman over there. Pictures are being taken in the corner there. Good.